Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. Joining us this morning is Laura Walker. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you calling in. Thank you. Of course, you're welcome. Okay, Laura, May is National Trauma Awareness Month and Covenant is a regional level two trauma center for kids and adults. As a mom, I love to hear that. So tell us about that and what is a trauma center, Laura? So a trauma center is a hospital that has been specially uh, trained to take care of patients that who have been injured in a traumatic injury, whether it's a car accident, an all-terrain vehicle accident, gunshot wound, or fall. We are trained to take care of those patients from the moment they get here to, um, to the when they're in the inpatient setting mm -hmm. and even in the outpatient setting. We work with our EMS. So from the moment that the injury happens, the patient is getting the best care available. So that starts with the EMS, it goes to our ER and our inpatient. And then when those patients are discharged from here, they'll go to rehab services or outpatient services where we focus on taking care of that trauma patient. And at Covenant, we're lucky because we do this for not only the adult patients, but also the pediatric patients. So it's a great resource to this area. And it's right in our backyard. We love that, Laura. Thank you so much for that. Now, you know, May is Trauma Awareness Month. So why do we recognize that? So actually, this was started by Ronald Reagan in 1988. He uh, designated May as Trauma Awareness a Month, and it's just bring, bringing light to uh, trauma. Trauma is the leading cause of death for those um, under the age of 44, which is really pretty sad. Um, it beats any other disease out there, and most trauma is preventable. So we feel that it's important to highlight those prevention things in hope, in hope of decreasing deaths and disability to our communities. That's alarming, the leading cause of death for those under the age of 44. Wow, what a stat. So how can we be aware, yeah, how can we be aware of trauma and help out if we witness a traumatic event, Laura? So and uh, most traumas hope happen in their home or near their home mm. too. So what we need to do is we need to educate ourselves. For one, we, we have to be aware of our surroundings. We have to look at ways to prevent trauma. Life is fun, um, but we need to take a few safety measures, whether that means we wear a helmet or we drive the speed, we remain uh, focused on the task we are doing and not are distracted by our cell phones or... Yes kids in the car or any of the other things that happen to distract us. So we focus on preventing the injuries from happen and then we also prepare us ourselves. So if an injury happens, what do we do? Where do we go? So you can do that by either taking a first aid class, um, a stop the bleed class. So actually stop the bleed is a national initiative that was started after Sandy Hook Elementary School uh, shooting. And what it does is it teaches bystanders what to do in the event of an emergency. And it provides first aid to those people until help can arrive. And tomorrow, May 20th, is actually National Stop the Bleed Day. Oh, wow. So I love to hear about this. You're talking about some of the programs there, but tell us about Covenant Healthcare's free injury prevention programs. What's out there? What's available for us to look into? So we have lots of classes that are available and they're always changing. Obviously, with everything else in our life, COVID has affected that, but we're trying to reach people via Zoom or social media by putting out articles. Um, we have classes that um, teach fall prevention, um, how to not do drive distracted and what the consequences of those are. We teach Stop the Bleed classes. We uh, participate in multiple community events, providing education on injury prevention. Now you do have some programs for school groups. If a school group's interested in training, what's the next step for that group? They go ahead and reach out to me via email or call, uh, call my office and we can set up a conversation and talk and see how we can best meet their needs. Well, Laura, you know what? It's so great to know that this is in our backyard, not for just the adults, but for the kids as well. Thank you so much for calling in today with this information. We appreciate you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You as stay well. Safe. Thank you. Thank you. You stay safe as well, Laura. If you'd like any additional information on today's topic, just head on over to the Hot Links page. That's on WNEM.com.